Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part six video on ASP.NET Core identity series. So in this video, we are going to do Facebook authentication. Okay. So let's begin steps for implementing Facebook authentication. Okay. To integrate Facebook authentication with our ASP.NET Core identity, we need to install Facebook package. Okay. Okay. Search like Microsoft Authentication Facebook NuGet. Okay. Click on the top link. And Visual Studio users copy the command from Package Manager tab. We are using .NET CLI, right? So copy the package from .NET CLI tab. Copy the command. Open terminal. Paste the command and install the package. So package is successfully installed. To cross verify, we can check package reference in our CS project file. Here is the package. Okay. Now we have to register our Razor page application with Facebook dashboard. Okay. Okay. You have to go to developers.facebook.com. Okay. So it is the dashboard for the developers. Now click on create app button. And here, under the create app, you can see select an app type. So which is our app type is, we can choose consumer, okay? Select the consumer and click on the next button. Here we need to provide a name for our app, okay? So I am going to give the name like .NET 7, okay? and create app so it's going to asking for authentication i am going to provide my credentials okay once we created our app you can see our app selected in this drop down okay so in this dashboard page we can see a card that represent facebook okay so Click on setup button on the Facebook login card. Now here we are under Facebook login left hand side menu and it is the quick start page. Let's go to settings. Okay, here we have to provide our callback URL. Okay. So here valid OAuth redirection is there, right? Here I have to provide the callback URL of my application, okay? So let me run my .NET 7 Razor page application. We know command to run our application, that is .NET under watch mode, run. Okay, here is my application. So here in our case, localhost is our domain, right? Copy that domain. Okay. And we have to frame a URL now. Okay. So that URL will be like, copy that domain and we have to provide a default path for Facebook sign in that is sign in face. Okay, this is the URL we have to register with Facebook and this is the URL which is understand by our ASP.NET Core identity. So copy this command, sorry URL and get back to our Facebook dashboard the valid OAuth redirect URL paste it. Okay. 
and save the changes. Okay, our URL is saved. Now on the right hand side, we have a settings tab, right? So here you have to go to the basics. Okay, basic tab. And here it will showing some settings like app ID and app secret, which are very important for us. We have to copy this app ID and app settings into our application. So for that, let's go to our application. Open the app settings.json file. And here, just like Google authentication settings, let me add my Facebook auth settings. Okay. So here we have to configure API key. Sorry, app ID. App secret. Now I will copy app ID. Okay. Now we have to copy app secret also. So to copy the app secret, click on show. So this is one time secret. Okay. If you want to see again, it will be changed. Okay. So copy the secret code. Add it here. Okay, now we got the credentials for Facebook authentication like app ID app secret. Now let's register our Facebook service in our program.cs file just like we did for Google. So here we can extend our authentication like add Facebook. Okay. So Facebook dot app ID we have to configure right and Facebook dot app secret we have to configure so we know how to read from the JSON file so copy this line of code okay and add it here first we have to get the section section is nothing but the our facebook authentication property name so paste it here and actual property which we which value we want so here i want app id so paste it here that's going to read app id from the json file same way i can apply to App secret also. Okay, and here I need to change it to app secret. That's it. We are done with a Facebook integration. Let's test the Facebook authentication flow. Okay. Okay, now refresh, rebuild our application. And if we reload our application page, go to either register page or login page, okay, any one of the page. Now here you can see Facebook button is coming. So how this is coming, coming means once we enable the authentication service, automatically it will appear, okay. Now let's Test the flow of Facebook authentication. Here, one reminder since I have already logged into my Facebook in the Chrome browser. Okay, so if I do authentication process here, few steps will skip by default because my application is already logged in with this browser. So, to see all the steps, please make sure to test our application in incognito. Browser. Okay, let me open incognito browser. Any browser where you didn't log in with your Facebook already. Okay. So 
let's access the application now i am going to click on the facebook button now observe the url it is navigated to facebook login page so let me provide my credentials <clears throat> here one more thing since it is a development app right so which account you have created developer credentials this account only that account only you can able to use for testing login okay if i use other than this account i won't log in because it is a restriction if you go for live then it will uh, our application can be logged with any kind of user but under testing environment it only allows the registered user here okay so i am going to use this user only okay and let me give my password and click on continue okay here you can see you are successfully authenticated with facebook please enter the email address for registration so my facebook authentication is valid but i don't have a account with my identity application so to create the account uh, email is must and should so we have to provide the email here one more thing the facebook which i logged in may contains this email or may contains other email nowadays without email also we are able to register with facebook using the phone number right so the whatever email we are going to register here is it doesn't mean it belongs to facebook okay facebook account just for our application we required the gmail okay so you can give any valid gmail here to register with the facebook okay so let me click on the register but here one validation error throwing that this email is already exist yes if you recall with normal identity process i already registered with the this email address so to to complete my facebook authentication let me delete this record okay that is because email must be unique in asp.net identity let me delete this record okay let me delete this record okay now that email is deleted now if i try again so it is sending confirmation email has been sent okay now i need to get that confirmation email address okay let me go to my email copy the url okay and come back here and access it so email confirmation is done successfully okay now we have to register a login again so let me close the browser so i want to i i just close the browser because i want to see all the registration sorry all the facebook login steps again okay so copy the url and before login let's check whether the user is created or not okay so here is our application and here is the email and if i check the asp.net logins here also one record is inserted and this is mapped with this record okay here one thing i want to uh, mention you that when you try to log in after re successful registration when we try to log in into our asp.net core identity application how facebook identifies this user is already registered means that is depends upon this provider key so this is a key nothing but the id value of the user at the facebook okay that means here we won't depend upon facebook you gmail address 
our phone number we depend upon the provider key okay so that is why we can give any email address i have told right previously i can give any email address that is the reason because it won't depend upon the facebook authentication won't depend upon the email it should depend upon the id we are saving that logic is internally handled by our asp.net core identity this implementation is not only for facebook it is applied to any kind of social login like google facebook twitter okay now let me i am registered right now if i try to log in i will directly log in okay click on facebook page enter the credentials i am able to log in successfully okay that's all about integration integrating facebook authentication with the help of asp net core identity thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to channel and please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content Until then signing off